before this video starts i do have a small favor to ask from you i do have a match shop it's called keep going it has different items for both men and women in different colors and sizes as well there are tees hoodies mugs shopping bags and something for your dog as well if you like my vlogs or enjoy my channel go check out the match shop i'm sure you'll find something that you like and purchasing an item is going to help me and this channel more than you know so i'll leave a link in the description some items are displayed below the videos so check them out thank you and enjoy the vlog hi guys welcome back yet another exciting episode so today we are in tinder so tinder is one of the best suburbs in kampala right here as you can see so we live in and i kind of want to show you guys around actually this is one of my favorite places to come to so it's quite a uh, beautiful a uh, sunny day it's a saturday and uh, this is Ntinda junction this route here comes from chisasi goes back all the way to the northern bypass that route over there will go all the way to kampala that right over there will go all the way to nakawa and then this one right here will go all the way to chiwatle and nigeria so i want to take you guys around Tinda today to just like uh, show you the vibe it's a Saturday, so Saturday is usually busy because people are like, you know, going into the weekend, going for weddings, going for functions. So, I want to start by showing you Tinder Market. Obviously, Tinder has a lot of people that stay around here and also work around here. This is very close to the city center, so it's very perfect as well. The market is here. You can see Tinder Old Market. So, if you want to buy meat, uh, this is the place to come to uh, I've done videos of food prices so if you guys want to see like food prices in Uganda go and check out those videos but I just kind of want to show you that actually if you stay in this area there is a market as well where you can easily buy food so matoke, yellow bananas this is the <laughs> This is the market area, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. What do you mean? Yeah, you're there. You're yeah, there. Yeah, I'm there. You can give me that thing to WhatsApp. Yeah, so this is the food Even that they are post. selling. Yeah. Uh, but so to jam yes, yes. Mama, mama. Mama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. You can do it. Take it to the moon. Like a video, video. Thank you. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Some eggs as well. The chickens are right in the back if you want to buy. Just in Kitamu Pola and Pola. Yeah, so. Yeah, so this is Tinder Market, guys. Eh? So you will find obviously lots of food, just like any food. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, fresh fruits and vegetables. You will find everything in the market. Eh? Yeah. But uh, I feel like I've already showed you guys market videos before. I don't want to bore you here, but uh, yeah. So let's go and check out something else around uh, Tinder. So I want us to cross the road. Uh, so Tinder has shopping malls as well. If you live around this area, you will be able to find places like where to buy stuff. Eh? There's the shopping malls, there are saloons, there are places like forex bureaus. Yeah, that's a place where to buy your guts. There's pretty much everything in Tinder, guys. Eh? That's why I like this area. So, somewhere to buy clothes, you know. There's an agent bank over there, there's a driving school. Agent banking in Uganda is like if you don't want to go to the main bank to look for money because it's always busy, you can just go to an agent and withdraw money with your visa machine. So agent banks are very, very helpful. Right across the road, there is a police testy. There is also a meat shop. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, pharmacies as well if you live or work in Tinder you may not really need to go like all the way to the city center 
but even if you want to go to the city center, it's also very close to the city center. It's like maybe like six minutes, you know, or seven minutes drive, you know, to the city center. Yeah, so this is the vibe eh? around Tinder, guys. Yeah, that's a new building across the street, the one that is brown in color. I think it's called, I think, Aponye Commercial Building. Yeah, something like that. Aponye Commercial Building. Unfortunately, I think the owner passed away recently. Yeah, Ugandans know that. Ugandans, other people might not know, but passed away recently. Yeah, so this is a... Uh, there's a supermarket there, French supermarket. It's really good if you want to buy like food stuffs and everything. Everything is always there. French supermarket. And for those who be traveling, if you're considering to like look for an Airbnb, if there is something in Tinder, then I would definitely recommend it. Because Tinder is like very close to town. And just like I've already said, you will have access to everything. Obviously pharmacies. So pharmacies, fast food restaurants, malls, you will get all of it in Tinder. You will find it in Tinder. AAR, that's a hospital. So everything you will find in Tinder. It's actually threatening to rain. Yeah. Still a very busy Saturday. Busy roads, but uh, let's take this route. So these are the cars that are coming from Nakawa or Jinja Road. Actually, when you stay here, it's also easy to connect to any other part of the city because just like you've seen, there is a junction. But I also kind of want to show you guys the residential part of Tinder. Yeah, only that it's threatening to rain. So if it starts raining, I don't know. Uh, there is a supermarket here. I think this is quite new. This hasn't been here yet. Uh, just a normal busy day guys in Kampala Kampala is always always busy and obviously as you're walking you can buy some fresh fruits by the roads selling apples I think they sell some street food uh, down there if you want to buy some street food if you want to buy some plastic sandals you can buy them as well clothes want to buy some popcorn some cute dresses as well if you want to print some documents that's the place sometimes I come there to see that this Finca Bank are right here as well so I want to show you guys a place called Innovation Village Innovation Village is a co-work space and I know sometimes some of my audience members you guys might travel to Kampala and then you want like a place where to sit and work with quick Wi-Fi. So I'm going to take you guys to Innovation Village and I'll show you the place. You can pay like a daily fee, maybe like 25,000 EGX. They have different sections, so the fee is going to differ. But usually it's about that. You can either rent it for a day or a week or a month. Yeah. If you want to buy some sugar cane as well, jackfruit, that's the guy right there. If you like sugar cane, there is a lot of sugar cane in Uganda <laughs> and it's extremely cheap if you like sugar cane. There's a lot of sugar cane here in Kampala. And then right across there, there is a church. It's called uh, St. Luke. St. Luke Church, Tinder, right across the street. So if you want to go and pray, uh, you can go and pray as well. This building right here is called Tinder Complex. Yeah, it's like a shopping mall as well. There are very many shops in there. And there's also a real estate company up. It's called Safe. They have a project. I featured them on my channel before. Somewhere up there. Yeah, so we are going to enter. And then I want to show you guys the innovation village. And then we'll go and check out the residential part of Tinder. This is the entrance right here the advantage of working from here as well is that they have parking actually yes yeah, so you can park your car here it's always safe there's also security some shops as well kids stuff nice dresses for ladies yeah and then those are offices different companies if you want to come and like 
rent a space out here. That's Buildnet. Buildnet is also one of the real estate construction companies in Kampala. They offer a lot of affordable housing. This is a restaurant. It looks like they have closed there. Eh? <laughs> uh, unfortunately. So, ah, I'm not sure if the Innovation Village is open. Today is a Saturday, but uh, let's try and see. Oh, I think it's open. Yeah, kind of want to show you guys that in case you ever need a space with good Wi-Fi to work from, you just come here. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. So I'm vlogging. This one kind of shop for like the Innovation Village as a co-work space. Eh? Just like. So they are quite reluctant, but <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. But at least I've seen the place. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so guys, uh, but this is the place. Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> people in Uganda are still not yet very open to cameras. Eh? Even when you're trying to market a place, it can be very difficult. But have three different sections so this is the uh, one of them there is another one up like two up there so i used to come and sit here to edit my videos because i like the ambience so i definitely recommend it even though i didn't show you guys around it's like very very convenient when you want to work just like sit down good wi-fi do your work you should definitely come here yeah back to the main road uh, that's the church that I showed you earlier right ahead there is capital shoppers so this road is called Tinder stretcher I don't know the official name <laughs> but we just call it stretcher uh, if you guys know the official name of this road they just write it here but we call it Tinder stretcher so I want to show you guys the residential part of Tinder since you guys have seen the city center where you can get like services food medicine a space where to work from or if you even want to rent a space where you can rent and start your company or your business because it's in the complex they also offer spaces like where you can rent let's go and check out the residential part quite quickly though it's going to rain so i don't know how much of it i'm going to be able to show you guys yeah because it's starting to drizzle right now <laughs> yeah so but if you're enjoying the video so far give it a like subscribe as well if you're not subscribed yeah let's continue uh, this is a city bus just to show you guys there's uh, public transport obviously most Ugandans use public transport so to move around you can either use a bus like that one or you can use the taxi the matatus eh? the white and blue buses or you can use a border border the only problem with this public transport except border borders is that they are super slow so you never want to sit in it unless you just have enough time on your hands but you never want to sit in that bus because you'll never arrive where you're going so if you want to save time just jump on a border border and go to your next location it has actually started to drizzle i'm around capital shoppers so this is a shopping mall guys eh? yeah I'm not sure if I'll make it to the residential part. Maybe I should just show you guys inside the mall. Centenary Bank on the other part of the mall. Obviously, there is parking. Essential for any mall to have parking. That's the only way people are going to come. There's a couple of restaurants here as well. There is a supermarket. Obviously, capital shoppers, the supermarkets. And then there are like shops where you can buy like kids' clothes. Lots of things, eh? That's a shop right here. Someone is singing. If you wanna give them money, pharmacy, agent banking, right there. Yeah. What I know is that there are very many shops with kids' clothes. They like kids' items in here. You can find lots and lots of things. Ladies' things, shoes. Women's bags, jewelry. So you can find lots of things in this mall. Everything actually you can get it in here. Kampala weather is quite interesting. 
the drizzle has stopped. So, this is the residential part of Utinda. Eh? Guy is selling mushrooms, but you can see there are some residential apartments around. So, let's look somewhere down there and just show you like how the neighborhood looks like. Actually, the road this side is good. Eh? It's nicely paved as well. So, us the pedestrians have somewhere to walk. It's nice and quiet. Actually, some of these areas just have like offices as well, like offices for organizations. So these might not all be people's homes, <laughs> but some of them will be offices for organizations. They may look like people's homes, but they're like the owners just rent them out, eh? obviously to make that extra cash. So, but it's nice and green and quiet. So this is called Mwafu Road. Yeah, Power Boutique. And then there's some suits right here, uh, victory suits. Guy is doing some some cleaning. Eh? Yeah, you see Center for Constitutional Governance. That's where the, the offices are. It's a nice neighborhood, as you can see. There's some nice apartments around. Uh, let's take this route right here. Play dates preschool so kids can come and study here as well. That's Central Region Office for PSI. I don't know what organization that is. That's how the other view looks like. And this is called Matters Road, as you see. So let's walk all the way down. Yeah. What you have to note is that Tsinda is very big. I've just showed you guys a portion of it, but it's quite a big area here. Yeah. I hope you've learned a thing or two. So give this video a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.